Hello everybody, my name is TheDRock100 and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Diamond in the last episode. We defeated Brian at the Canalive City Gym and we finally caught ourselves a Gibble, the fifth member of my team. And we also heard tremors going on of what happening at the Battle Lake front. In this episode, we're going to check it out, but before we do so, let's take a look at Chomper. Jeez, this is lucky and Gibble. Okay, so it's calm. Okay. It's really kind of... It likes bitter food. Sand vial. Ooh, I'm gonna have fun with that. Uh, what's see what boost do you have? Even better. All right. So, um, Chomper is holding the experience chair at the very moment. So, um, he's not gonna be seeing much action in, for this episode. So, unfortunately, it's just going to have to remain on the sidelines for a while so it can gain some experience along the way. Okay. So let's see for what is going on over yonder. Because we all know that the Battle Lake Front is an important place that we need to go to. So let's take a look, shall we? Hmm, it's... Oh, whoa! There is a lot of magic card flopping around here. Man, this place is a wreck. I wonder how I can deactivate my mouse so it doesn't get shown on screen. Oh! Epic dodge. Man. I feel bad for these magic carps. Their home got destroyed. And I got this cover, damn it. Oh well. We set off the galactic bomb. Its blast force was phenomenal. Um, dude, you just destroyed a gigantic population of fish Pokemon out here. The fishers would not approve of this. And Glinda's going to tell you why. Okay, and actually did less than I thought, but then again, I want to get through this fight pretty quickly. So, let's see what happens now. Here we go. Alright, Krogon, okay? Alright, let's see what we got, huh? Let's see what we got. Anticipation's gotta do absolutely nothing to me. Wait. Okay, he landed a sucker punch on me. What of it? Hey. You missed? How did you miss? Floyd is supposed to have a very high accuracy. What the hell? Alright, that's just gonna have to do. Alright, here we go. Here we go. The Pokemon attack with phenomenal power. Damn right we do. Alright. Okay. Hello. Who are you? The mission has been proceeding without a hitch. The boss should be pleased. Everything is for everyone. And for the good of Team Galactic. I recognize your face. You're the child who raided the Team Galactic building in Eterna. <laughs> Jupiter should be ashamed of herself being beaten by a child. But anything and anyone that opposes Team Galactic must be crushed. Even the very thought of opposing who will not be tolerated. 
All right, this starts off with a fight against Commander Saturn. Uh, Saturn, he's gonna have three Pokemon on his team. His first Pokemon is gonna be a Kadabra, level 35, pure psychic type, synchronized for the ability. Shockwave, Embargo, Recover, Psychic. Um, this thing kind of worries me. Because of that. Never mind. I'm, uh, you know what? I'm thinking of something else. I'm actually thinking of something completely different. Just use Faint Attack. Take it out pretty quickly. Oh, critical hit. Go, Glenda. Alright. Who else you got? What else do you got? All right, Chompers at level 17, very good. All right, up next is Bronzor, level 35, Steel Psychic Type, Levitate for the ability, Iron Defense, Gyro Ball, Rock Tomb, and Shadow Ball. All right, let's do this. I probably could just switch out to um, Rockhead because he has Flamethrower. But actually, you know what? I'm gonna do just that. Hang on a minute. Oh, you're gonna be for one, for one crazy moment there, Bronzor. And you lowered my speed. Like that's gonna do you any good? Because of less. Is that flame coming out of his nose? Ugh. You should probably go see a doctor. Alright. Alright. His last Pokemon. Toxic Croak. Uh, oh yeah, level 37. Poison Fighting Type. Anticipation for the ability. Citrus Berry for its item. Revenge, Faint Attack, Mud Bomb, and Poison Jab. Right. Let's go for extra sensory and call it a day. See, no problem. And fire brews a little thirty-nine. At a boy or at a thing, since you don't have a gender. All right, you, my friend, are tough. I can see why you defy us, so. Even I, a commander, only managed to buy us time, but that's fine. A child like you will never be able to stem the flow of time. Team Galactic will get the three legendary Pokemon of the lakes. With their power, we will create an entirely new universe. By now, Mars should have captured their Pokemon at Ver Lake Verity. Oh, shit balls. Well. Time we head out for Lake Verity. That should be. Okay, the Verity Lakefront. Who cares? Let's see for what we can do there. And then get the fudge out of here. And get the fudge moving. Ah, Derek, what timing? Those Team Galactic scoundrels are after the legendary Pokemon. You've got to help Dawn. Uh, where is she? Um, okay. Because um, we're coming up to a double battle right here, and that is required. Wait. Actually, this particular one's only required because I could probably just surf my way past those knuckleheads. Also, I need to ask, what's wrong with their hair? All right. Let's give them hell, you guys. Ooh. That's so that Glammy was stronger than I thought. Holy crap. 
And why do you have a Silcoon? Shouldn't that thing be a uh, Beautifly right about now? Sometimes I tend to just uh, ignore all that crap. All right, can you stop scratching me now? Blam you! Thank you. We got ourselves a gold bat from over here. All right. Oh, no. Okay. How did that miss? Seriously, how did that miss? Oh! Oh, oh, game on! You don't lower Rockhead's attack like that with your cute charm and all that. He's probably a hardhead too, so I bet that's just bonus points for you, I guess. Or I guess, and for what some people would say, <laughs> bonus points! I'm so sorry. Alright, Chomper's level 19. Come on. Ooh, Sand Tomb. Uh, let's see. What does that do? I'm sure there's another question. Two to five turns. Okay. Um, we'll give it a Sand Attack. Take it down. Yeah, it does. You two are golden. Losing was a part of my job, too. I feel better by saying that. You're too young to understand. Understand what? And how, how much of knuckleheads in that you lot are? See? No problem. Okay, let's go ahead and quickly use my Hyper Potion on Glinda, and see what we can do then. Here we go. The face, it brings back bad memories. I'm talking about the Windworks. I caught a whole lot of trouble for that little incident. What's with that look on your face? You don't, you don't, you do remember me, don't you? Fine, whatever, I'll tell you who I am again. I'm Mars, one of Team Galactic's commanders. So what is it? Are you some lovely dovey couple to the rescue? Not a chance. Not even a teeny one. You're all going down. Ugh, someone's uh, in a feisty mood today. Perhaps she woke up on the wrong side of the bed or something. We're silver when we need him to calm her down. Anyway, um, Mars has uh, three Pokemon on her team. Her first Pokemon's gonna be a Golbat at level 37, a Poison Flying type, and her focus for the ability. Air Cutter Supersonic. Bite and toxic. That toxic worries me. And holy crap, this could be bad. So let's go for faint attack and hope it does some. Um, do, at least it does something. Oh, I did something. Goody. Uh, this badly poison is really going to hinder us. Because at the end of every turn, the aftermath of each turn increases the, the toxic ability. And that is not good. 
Okay. One down. All right. Who's next? Who'll be next? Whoa, she's pulling out the big guns for this one, I guess. Uh, Burgly, level 39, normal type. Ugh. Big fat for the ability, search is very for this item. Fake out slash faint attack and hypnosis. Okay. So, ooh. Thank God I missed. Because I'd rather not have any problems with sleeping, thank you. At least that did something. God damn it, Citrus Berry. Okay. Let's go for an Aqua Jet so we can guarantee that we go first. Too bad I didn't take it down, though. Ah! Why? Well, hopefully I'll have something that'll help. What now, bitch? Whew. Okay. What, what? No, 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 no. There we go. All right. Now for the last Pokemon. Anyway, the last Pokemon, Bronzor, level. Well, I, I think it's level 37. I didn't write that down over here. Anyway, it's a Steel Psychic type with levitating for the ability with Iron Defense, Jar Bolt, Confuser, and Extra Sensory. Let's see if I'm right. Yes, I was right. All right. Now, if it has. Um, heat proof. I think Mold Breaker would counteract to that ability. So you could say it's a counter ability. We, we. Oh shit! Why? You know what? I'm gonna chance it. Come on, hit, 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 hit. Not yourself, Bronzor. Oh shit! Why do you do this to me? All I did was bring you back to life. You could at least show me a little more support than that. Rockhead. If you don't hit yourself, then I'll get you some ice cream. Apparently he likes ice cream! Who doesn't like ice cream? I love some ice cream. Hooray! And Rock has a level 41! He is tied with Empoleon for having the highest level of our team. Alright. Again and again. Yeah, 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 shut up. Lost again. So first the wind works, and now like variety that I owe you for. This should be happening to Team Galactic's commander. Calm down, Mars. I've done my part in all of this. My mission was to transport the Lake's Pokemon to our HQ. That's right. I accomplished my mission without a problem. Team, we're pulling out. The boss is waiting at the HQ. The Pokemon of the three lakes are connected somehow. Thanks to Saturn's grandstanding at Lake Velar, the cavern appeared here. It was the cavern where the Pokemon Mesfred slept. Mesfred appeared too. Probably to go help its friends. That worked out well for us. It was super easy to catch. So, now we've got them all. Mesbret, the being of emotion. Azelf, the being of willpower. Yuxi, the being of intelligence. Now that we have them all, you can look forward to what plans Team Galactic has for them. I see. This also occurred at Lake Valor. Another legendary Pokemon was taken away by Team Galactic. Both of you went up against full-fledged criminals. The fact that you are unharmed is reason enough to celebrate. What about, like, Acuity? Or Cutie, how do you pronounce it? Is Barry safe? Well, I could tell you that. I could say that he's probably doing alright. 
but unfortunately, I think that's just gonna have to wait, because I'm actually all out of time for this episode. I know it seemed a little short, but then again, I got a whole lot of stuff going on, and I got some plans to work with, with Gibble, Chomper. And I wanna try to get him as close to a high level as the rest of my team is, so that's gonna take us some time. So, but until then, Next time, we're going to head off towards Lake Acusity to check up on Barry to see on how he's doing. Which means we're finally going to be heading off towards Snowpoint City. See you guys next.